Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today watching this screencast. This is uh, welcome back to another screencast from John Overall and WordPress plugins from A to Z. We're doing a screencast here that coincides with podcast number 22. So if you found this screencast without seeing our podcast, head on over to www.johnoverall.com and look up podcast number 22 because there's additional plugins that we talk about there. So make sure you have a good check on everything and enjoy it. So what we're going to do here tonight is we're going to be discovering the plugin Smart YouTube by Vladimir Prilovic. And uh, if you find the show notes in Podcast 22, you'll find all the rest of the information for this plugin. So without much further ado, we're just going to go ahead and uh, start showing you how to get it done. Now, if you've been to any of our previous podca or podcasts or plugins, you'll know that to install a plugin with WordPress is very simple. Simply go to your plugins menu, click on Add New, bring up the window for a search for a new plugin, and then type in the name of what you're going to be hunting for. Do a search on it, and you find generally find what you're looking for in the first thing. And of course, this plugin here, like every other plugin, you can click on the details menu to find out a bit more about the plugin, find out installation, screenshots of it, change log, FAQ, on and on. So then go ahead forward, simply install it. Once you install it, activate it on your site. And then once it's installed and activated, you have to go down and check out a few settings for this. And of course, what this plugin is for is for managing YouTube videos on your website. It allows you to display them. And we'll show you how they display in a short moment here. Now, first off, right up at the top here, they've got a great one here called View Instructions for How to Use It. You click that, tells you how to use and set up the video code to get the best information for your video you're going to display. Next thing down below that is your option settings. You can check out your video settings, display the video in post, and you can also display the video in comments. You can also, if you like, use the iframe embed code. Maybe you're trying something different and you want to try the embed code. And if you want to find out more, got a little question mark here, it takes you to a website and explains all about the YouTube API embed code. Next thing down is video appearance. What you can do here is with the video template, you can set it into styles, margin, let it float, do whatever you want. You can have the text wrap around the video, all kinds of useful information here. So you can play with that a little bit and experiment with it. The next thing down is the video width and height in normal mode. Default is 425 by 344, but as you can see, it gives you some quick choices. You simply click on them to choose your choice. Very easy, very slick. Next thing down is the video in high quality mode. And of course, this is the HQ mode or the uh, widescreen mode. You know, default 560 and, or 480, but next up is 560. Most websites will handle 560. The next setting down is your sidebar or your widget mode. How large do you want it to appear in your widget? I start with the default of 150 by 125 and then I start experimenting from there to see what best fits my um, sidebar. Usually you have to go up in size. Very seldom do you go down. Next thing down is to include related videos or do not include related videos. This is so when it's showing the video whether or not it includes it. Next item down is you can put a border around your um, frame around your video and show it on your website. You can change that color here. Currently he's only got this choice of nine colors. I imagine sometime down the road he'll probably add something to allow you to choose your own set of colors. So you find a color that fits closest to your scheme of your website, choose that. You can have it autoplay videos, which is very annoying. I personally hate that. Sometimes I abandon a website if it starts autoplaying the video because I don't like to hear sudden bursts of sound. I might be listening to my own music while I'm uh, surfing the web or something, and all of a sudden I've got some blathermouth yapping at me. It's better if it doesn't autoplay. 
people if they want to watch your video they will click play if they don't want to watch your video they will shut it down real quick if it auto plays simple you can have it display a search box so they can search for other videos you can have it remove titles and ratings or show the titles and ratings you can have it remove annotations or show those you can enable privacy enhanced mode although videos might not work for iPhone users you can have custom code compatibility and what this is for is say you've been using other plugins for handling your YouTube videos on your website like for instance I've been using a plugin called YouTuber and it used special custom short code called YouTube well I would put that code into this custom box right here and what that does is then this plugin here will take over for the YouTuber um, plugin and start playing the videos using the settings from this instead I think that's kind of cool. You can also have it change to XHTML validation so that the uh, videos are XHTML valid, although, again, they might not work for iPhone users. This is something I thought was fantastic in here, is the RSS feed options. And what this does is when you're sending out your feed, used to be if you had videos, all it would say is a link to the video. Um, now, the video will embed in your feed. Some readers might not see it, but most readers will see the video. You can also have it display a preview image in the RSS feed, so if it doesn't play the video, at least they'll see the image. Once that's done, click Update Options. All your options are set. Now, how to use this again? Check out the instructions very simple now you want to go place a video to do that you simply pop in to where you've got your videos I've got some already pre-added here and then we go do the editing of it bring it up and what this does this shows off a, a playlist of videos and of course to get your playlist you have to go to your YouTube um, to your YouTube uh, channel and your YouTube channel will be, um, oops, whatever your YouTube channel is. And we're going to use my YouTube channel as a nice example. Now, if I wanted to show off a playlist, what I would do is I would go into my playlist listing here, go find out what it is, and um, then I would click on, say, a playlist, like social media playlist. I've got a whole bunch of videos in that, in that playlist. Now, if you look up in the address bar, which doesn't appear in this, unfortunately, you'll see at the very end of it a string of letters right after the last forward slash. That's what you copy, and then you paste that in right here into your short code, or into your code. And that'll show you the playlist. The next thing down is to embed the URL for uh, just the YouTube video itself. All you do is go into your YouTube video, decide what video you want to play, click on the share link of YouTube, go get the link right there, and then you take it back and paste it right into your website. And then of course all the rest of it's typically the same. You put your content in, everything else, and then you can go take a look at the post, and you can see how the post looks. You can see how it puts one video here. This is the playlist. So it's got an, a lit, an arrow going through my playlist to show off all the different videos in my playlist. Pretty cool. Below that is a, a specific video off of my website itself, or off of my channel itself. And you can see the green frame going down that I chose for this. The other one being the sidebar widget. To use the sidebar widget, of course, like any other widget, simply go over to your widgets area decide what widget area you're going to display that in depending on your theme your widget areas will vary find the smart YouTube widget should be in here somewhere and looks like we can only pull it in once that's interesting didn't realize that I've already added it here so we'll put it back over here for a sec yeah there it is you can only pull it in once looks like it's only usable one time that's not very cool should be usable more than once so you can put it in different spots and on different pages so again you just put in there a title of the YouTube video and again you just paste in the video link when you hit save you'll find it plays right in your sidebar depending on what size you choose it as very simple very easy very straightforward so it's a very cool little plug in here 
that would pretty much be it for this screencast. This has been a very simple screencast. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Make sure you go back over to my YouTube channel, check out my playlist, find uh, find my training videos. Where's the WordPress training videos? Yeah, let's see here. They're in the playlist. Somewhere. How about that? They're no longer alphabetized. There it is. WordPress training videos. Go into my playlist for WordPress training videos and go check out all the videos that I'm slowly adding here that are all the screencasts. So I hope you all have enjoyed that. That has been the, uh, this has been uh, WordPress plugins from A to Z screencast for episode 22 of my podcast. So go check out the podcast. And this has been your host, John Overall. So wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today, have yourself a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Thank you for joining me.